have the story of two demoniacs who came out from the tomb to meet Jesus. At times, these men would be savage. Thus, people who normally traveled this road would take other routes just to avoid the demoniacs. As Jesus approached, the demoniacs saw him and called out, What do you have to do with us, son of God? They recognized Jesus. These men were frightened of Jesus. Yet, they called him the son of God. They believed that Jesus had come to torment them. Jesus took pity on these men. Near the demoniacs was a herd of swine, as we have heard. The demon spoke to Jesus and said, If you drive us out, send us into the swine. Guess what Jesus replied? Jesus spoke only two words to the demons. Go then, which means Jesus has power. Immediately the demons went into the swine and rushed down into the sea where they all drowned. The men who were hiding the swine ran away. They returned home and reported everything. And guess what? Instead of these people welcoming Jesus, they told Jesus should leave their territory. Instead of appreciating what Jesus had done to these people, they started chasing him away. Sometimes, my dear brothers and sisters, we kick out Jesus in our lives instead of welcoming him. And ask yourself, are you fearful of Jesus' power? Or do you hope and pray that he will also drive out your demons? When we hear about demons, we think there were demons long, long time ago. And this time, we don't have. My dear brothers and sisters, we do have demons. What are the demons you wish to get rid of you? They are many. It can be a demon of envy, selfishness, pride, and so many others. I assume each one of us has at least one demon that we struggle with, or we may have more than one. Think about it. What is the demon which you want to drive out of your life? Trust in Jesus because he's ready to drive out that demon. Demons are powerful. It can be a demon of addiction and you are struggling with it. Today, we pray that you get the courage to announce that Jesus is the Son of God. If we are not watchful, our personal demons will begin to control our lives. At times, we need to turn to Jesus and beg him to drive out our demons and to once again set us free. We may try to manage our demons on our own. However, most often, they are too powerful for us. We need to turn to Jesus and ask him to cast out our demons or at least help us gain 
some control over them. Today, I invite each one of you to take a few moments and ask yourself, what are my demons? How are they controlling my life? What is the damage they are, go they are doing to me and to the people I care about? Then take a few moments of quiet. Thoughtfully ask Jesus to drive out your demons, to heal you and to free you. Then sit quietly in Jesus' presence for at least five to ten minutes. Take in Jesus' peace and love. Rest in him. This alone may drive out a few demons. Think about it and pray which demon is controlling my life. Remember, Jesus is so powerful and will drive out that demon. Thank you for joining us for this celebration of the Mass. This virtual Mass is broadcast to hundreds of people every day of the week. You know, over 100 years ago, the very first celebrations of the Mass took place on the second floor of the Glenview Public House. It's been inconceivable that 100 years later, we would be reaching so many people all over the world through this technology. If you'd like to support the ongoing broadcasts of OLPH's Masses, Please go to our website, go to Give Central, and you'll be able to support the ongoing outreach of this virtual ministry. Thank you for your support. Most of all, thank you for joining us in prayer. God bless you.